Although gerbils and rats are quite common as pets, attempting to keep gerbils and rats in the same enclosure and groom a positive relationship can go south in a great big hurry. While gerbils and rats are indeed closely related, that's where the common bond ends. These rodents can't live together, as anxiety, fear, and physical conflict will be the order of the day. In this video, we will address the relationship that gerbils and rats have, or don't have, while also discussing why conflict is so common. We will also speak to their differences, and how you can better tell gerbils and rats apart from a visual standpoint. You can have both gerbils and rats in the same house. It can be done, but it's critical to understand why physical contact and scent interaction should be off limits. Enjoy the video. We hope you find this content helpful and informative. Gerbils and rats can reside in the same room, just not in the same enclosure. As a means to eliminate strong scent accumulation, clean each tank regularly. Otherwise, the gerbils and rats will begin to smell each other and become anxious and fearful even though they're not in the same cage. So, what about play? Can gerbils and rats be placed together for a short time to play? The answer is no. More tension and more conflict. If they can't live together, they certainly can't play together. The result would involve fighting. The sense would be too strong and any form of play wouldn't last very long. Territorial markings or attempts to mark will end in conflict. So, with all of this talk about being unable to live together in constant fighting, what causes the conflict? What is the root of the problem? The core reason is that gerbils and rats are a different species. Because each creature is in survival mode, each will defend itself against the other. Territorial fighting, this will always be a given if food and water are involved. Another conflict is the fact that gerbils are seemingly born to hoard. They keep plenty of food to survive. This works when gerbils are in packs together, but placing a gerbil with a rat will not work when the gerbil is attempting to hoard. From the rat's perspective, you have this little critter coming in and taking all the food. What's up with that? When you combine this action with scent marking, there are really no options left but fear and conflict. From the outside looking in, it would be easy to assume that gerbils and rats are the same. That's a fair assumption, especially for a novice. Hey, we've probably all assumed as much at one time or another. Gerbils, hamsters, rats, mice, all the same. When it comes to gerbils and rats, there are several core things that do set them apart. They are a different species, as noted earlier. They behave differently. They can't consume the same foods because they each have different nutritional requirements. And finally, they look completely different. Once you see a gerbil and a rat and pay close attention to detail, you'll never forget the differences. Rats are larger. They also have longer tails. Rats have larger and more rounded ears. Rats have longer faces, and they also have longer whiskers. Outside of appearance, these notable differences, coupled with an independent survival mode, are why gerbils and rats will always be unsuitable cage mates, and always at odds. And on that final note, that will conclude things for this video. As you can see, gerbils and rats are indeed the odd couple, or in this case, the off-limits couple. It's best to keep each rodent in its own cage with its own food, water, and housing, and with its own scent. Creating two separate worlds is imperative. You know where they are. You don't have to let the right hand know what the left hand is doing. Your gerbils and rats will be much healthier and happier without having to deal with the anxiety and fearful threat of a perceived enemy. If you would like to know a bit more about this subject matter, we encourage you to visit us at gerbilwelfare.com. If you're on site viewing this video currently, then we invite you to read our article on the matter. If you're viewing us off site, please click the initial link in the description box that is available to you. That will take you to said article. It's always our pleasure to be of service to you. And until our paths cross again, we thank you so much for watching. We wish you all the best, and we hope you have a wonderful day.